we're gonna find the port B connection on the 6500 uh, cable and go ahead and plug that serial connection into. And then this is our power connector that we are going to plug into a power source. And you'll notice that we have uh, lights on on our beacon already. Um, there's gonna be three solid lights on a normal operating beacon. So once we have the beacon installed and powered up, uh, we can set that aside and we're gonna go into our iPad and we're gonna go into initially the Bluetooth settings on our iPad and we're gonna make sure that the beacon is available and connect it to the raw Bluetooth settings within our iPad. And then we can go back out to our uh, Digifarm app and the first thing that we want to see is the top line here, the beacon. We can press select and we will select our beacon out of that drop down list. And that shows us that the beacon is connected within the app itself. The next thing we're going to do is select our receiver type and we're going to select Ag Leader Paradigm and GeoSteer, or we can also select uh, the steer command option. I'm going to go ahead and select Ag Leader Paradigm and GeoSteer. And the first thing we want to do is go to our advanced settings at the bottom and we want to change our port number to 3101 and we also want to select beacon as our location source so then we can go back to our operation page and we'll set the ipad aside and get started on our in command display so right now you can see that we have a green satellite currently um, we're running on WAS right now. So we're gonna go into our setup screen and then we're gonna go to the steering and GPS screen and we're gonna select the wrench next to the auto detected 6500 receiver. This is where we change our differential source. Uh, with using the beacon, it's gonna be uh, RTK external and we wanna select the wrench and make sure that the baud rate is set up at 38,400. So we can go ahead and back out of our setup screens and we're gonna touch on the satellite again. So now we're gonna jump back into our iPad and go ahead and press start on the iPad and we'll see the position data going up from the beacon. Uh, the cloud will turn green and we will start seeing data coming back down from the server to the beacon. And as you can see on the in command display, we have RTK throughput of 100%. And we will see our differential status and differential source uh, go to RTK fixed momentarily. So as you can see with our throughput up to 100%, our correction age is one second and we show RTK fixed now. If you go into our differential tab, um, it's going to tell us that we're RTK fixed as well as um, our estimated error of uh, accuracy.